Our nature park is a 4 hectares jungle, but that is a self-guided. So it depends on your time when you can go visit inside. Just follow the arrows and then the side chest. Okay, so it's up to you the wall, but actually you can stay at the center until 5 p.m. if you want. Okay, so wala namang pong limits sa pag uh, stay niyo po dito sa amin. Okay, so and then for those who have cameras, you can take picture anywhere, it's okay. And then you can come back naman po inside the building to enjoy much of your picture taking. Okay, and a reminder ko lang po sa inyong lahat, later po kasi our first station is yung aming hatchling house or the baby crocodile. Although you can take picture inside, but please be careful. Okay, so estimated kasi we have 200 baby crocodiles inside. So any one of them, pwede magulat and of course malagat, so please be careful. Don't have to close your camera inside your house. Okay, or better said, para safe po tayong lahat, hands off na lang po. Ha? Ayan, so mag-ingat na lang. Okay, so but before we go to the live crocodile, so I just give you lang po a brief information about po the skeleton, the crocodile, and uh, this is the skin. Malat niya po. Up to now, this crocodile po is still on the record as the biggest male saltwater crocodile from alive in the Philippines. Okay? And actually po, he was purposely captured August 4, 1990, and that is from the Utuba River, Batarasa, Palawan. He knew this siya because this crocodile po at the time, he accidentally attacked a native Palawenio from the area. Okay? Isang maningisda po yung napatay niya, but actually po, he swallowed only the half body of his feet. Okay? So, hindi niya naman inubos. Yan ha, lower part po yung ayaw na doon niya. Ayan. 17 feet. Okay? And then, he is 60 years old na po. Kaya, when it comes to commercial value of the skin, ito pong balat niya. It is no good for your handbags, shoes, belts, wallet, etc. Because the idea for those things is a baby crocodile so they are from 3 up to 5 years old salt water crocodile lab. Okay, so ito po, wala na po ito kasi since 60 years old na siya, matigas, makapal na po. Okay? Five months after in captivity, this crocodile died na po and he died and that is only because of stress. Okay? Yeah. Pago! Yan po yung dahilan ng kanya po pagkamatay. But crocodiles naman po is known as a century animal so they can live for up to 100 years. Okay? So let's go. Let's move on from here. Let's go directly to our live crocodile. First station has been house again. Hands off. Okay? Let's go. farm here. Here we're looking at the uh, hatchlings uh, area and each one of these tubs has different size uh, baby alligators in it. Here you see some young alligators. And each, each tub has different sizes and different age of alligators. So as you go from tub to tub, the alligators will get larger in size until you get outside and then they have uh, really large and full grown alligators like you see here. Many of these alligators are rescued. Uh, some have been injured um, and they're brought here to the sanctuary and they're kept here until they can be uh, released back into the wild and those that cannot they'll live their life out here At the crocodile farm you also find um, Different types of birds that have been rescued here. We have the Palau and hornbill So once they're rescued they're brought here to the crocodile farm and they'll be kept here until they can be released into the wild and if they can't uh, then this becomes their home. Here we see the blue-naped parrot. 
and this uh, parrot is native to the Philippines. It's a really beautiful bird and they can also uh, talk. Here we see the white-bellied sea eagle. This is really a beautiful, beautiful eagle. And the one that we're looking at here uh, has a broken wing. And so it was brought here uh, and, and the wing was fixed uh, to the best of, that they could. And so here it will live out. Here we have some um, young turtles. What's nice about the crocodile farm is there's all different types of animals here. So there's a lot of different things to see. It's not just crocodiles. And they also have a souvenir shop that's located within the center of the compound. And many of the items that you see here uh, are also made here. Here we have a gentleman making some uh, small trinkets uh, for, for souvenirs. Here we see some souvenirs for sale. And what's really important is that these souvenirs that are sold here, the money also goes back into the sanctuary to care for the animals. So keep that in mind when you're uh, looking for souvenirs to purchase. WildPhilippinesTravelAgency.com, the name you know with the service you can trust. We are one of the most respected and trusted names in Philippines travel, offering the most complete packages at the best prices guaranteed.